And now we have some breaking news to tell you about tonight. Just as we came on the air, new details from the State Department about what happened in Libya, the violence that cost four Americans their lives, including U.S. Ambassador Chris Stevens. And ABC's John Carl is standing by with this late news. John. Diane, this is ahead of a major congressional hearing tomorrow into what happened in that attack on our consulate in Libya. And we are hearing new details, details that we have never heard before about what went, what went down. And this is significantly different than what we were told at the time. At the time, as you recall, we were told it was a protest that went bad and became an attack. Now we are told there was no protest going on outside that embassy. The first indication that they heard anything outside the walls of the embassy of, of the consulate compound was an explosion and gunfire. Gunfire. They looked through a camera to see what was going on, and we are told they saw a large number of armed men coming in and approaching that compound. We're told it was a very complex attack without precedent in U.S. diplomatic history. We've never seen an attack like this in Libya or anywhere else, we, we were told, by this uh, senior State Department official. So, Diane, one other uh, fascinating detail is that they still don't know how Ambassador Stevens got to the hospital. Doctors at the hospital took the cell phone out of his, out of his pants, out of his pocket, and started calling it. That's how they found out uh, that he was there. John, this is an incredible breaking news tonight. So any explanation for the change in the story? Well, they, they, this is part of their investigation. They say they continue to investigate, but they have never given us anywhere near a detailed timeline like this. And believe me, a big part of this, Diane, is because you have this major congressional hearing tomorrow, and they wanted to get this out now. All right. These new developments just in. Thank you, John Carl.